the most common byproduct of Kawasaki disease are aneurysms in the coronary arteries. And in fact, it's, it's now the leading cause of acquired heart disease for children in the U.S. today. A couple of years ago, my daughter came down with Kawasaki disease. And it's, a, it's, it's an inflammatory response, some unknown agent, and affects the cardiovascular system. And during that process, um, during, as the disease ran its course, the, her, the blood vessels on her heart, the coronary arteries that feed oxygenated blood to the heart, got weakened. After, you know, about six months or a year, we, we started to kind of breathe again. And, uh, and, you know, our focus turned to what type of technology might be out there that can help Allison. The problem in pediatrics is that the child grows and so their blood vessels grow and so um, any hopeful fix to try to make it so that these aneurysms won't ever cause her or anybody a problem in the future has to also entail the thought that things are going to grow. Coming out of this, this conference on bioresorbable scaffolds and learning about this um, whole other product category that's been solving the aneurysm problem we have for years, but, but, um, but doing so with metal, we said, look, we just need to put these things together. We need a bioresorbable flow diverter. The flow diverters that can be used in brain aneurysms, they're, they're approved by the FDA. They, they did a lot of clinical testing to make sure they work like, the, like they were intended. What if we could take that, make it into one that could be used in the heart, and made it out of these bioresorbable materials? And, and that is the device that Allison needs. That's the device that thousands of kids in her situation need. Because it's taking a proven technology that can heal aneurysms without surgery, and then it doesn't cause long-term complications. The idea is that once, once those materials have gone away, the body can essentially create a new artery there. If we can achieve that, then we've made the aneurysm go away. Hi, I'm Dave Rizek. And I'm Aubrey Shackleford. And we need your help to develop a device that could treat thousands of kids living with a serious heart condition caused by Kawasaki disease. Our immediate goal is to raise $50,000, which will allow us to build a benchtop flow model of the heart and test and refine our prototypes. If we can reach $300,000, we can get through a design and development phase that fully defines the device with engineering drawings and specifications in a formal quality system that will eventually be recognized by the FDA. From there, we will continue to define the assembly process and engage a contract manufacturer that could help us build product for clinical trials and commercialization. It's a long road, but we're committed to it for the sake of Allison and the thousands of kids living with complications from Kawasaki disease. Every little bit counts, and we appreciate your support.